Hello. I'm Nancy. Excuse me. Um, this is uh, the Mata or Mother, Universal Mother, that uh, came to me from a shop. I uh, I did a concert in a temple, and a few days later, I uh, stumbled across this shop, and I went in to browse through. And uh, this photograph here on the shelf attracted me so much. So I told the lady, can you please bring it down and let me have a look. And when she brought it down, oh my God, I said, she's so beautiful. I really like to buy this and take her home. But what is her name? She said, I'm not sure. So she checked on the computer. And uh, being Chinese, she told me the Chinese name. She said uh, her name is called Chun Ti Forma. Uh, a lot of she came from India, she said, originated from India. And uh, the people in Taiwan, there's a famous temple in Taiwan that worship her. But actually, I've uh, posted this picture on the net and asking people if anybody knows her name, please get back to me. And until today, it's been a few years now. Uh, I got no answer, but this Wollongong temple, when it was being built, I had wanted to go a long time ago, uh, but uh, my friend had a fall in the garden, so we never went. Then we move, and we move up to the Blue Mountains, and then we are down, and all the time I'm working, 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 and uh, this is a long way off, you know, I can't go in my old car, so I just left it, leave it to God. When it's time for you to go, you will go. Alright? Uh, so one day, one of my son's friend is a Nepalese Buddhist. And he told a lot of his friends, I want to go to a temple in Sydney. I've been here and I've never been to any temple. So my son took an opportunity uh, to take me to Wollongong. Since he knew that I wanted to go all the time, I told my son to, I want to go to the Wollongong and I don't know how to get there, it's too far away, don't have a good car. So my son took me in his new car and uh, we uh, we drove and then another very good friend of my son, he's uh, not actually not, f his uh, parents were from Britain, British, English and uh, he's actually born here so he's Aussie. He said, I want to go too, because he and a brother, his brother, has been there at least twice, I think. So we picked him up and we went. And when we went this, to this temple, we had lunch there and uh, I was just about to go home. I told David, it's such a long journey down, I want to go to the ladies first. And my son is afraid I'll lose my way, so he followed me and uh, to make sure that I know how to get back to the car. And uh, I just came across another shrine, which we have missed. And I was so shocked to see the Mata, or Mother, Kuan Yin, that is in this temple, exactly like this statue. And the people told me that this is a uh, Buddha, Buddha with thousand and one hands. She's Kuan Yin, mother, with thousand and one hands. So, so, see, whatever you wish, it's just a matter of time, you get it. So you have to be very patient, you know. Whatever small wish you do have in your mind, it will materialize, it can happen. So always wish for good things and good things for your family, good things for your friends. That is the best thing to do. Everything else, leave it to God. So, here, this Mata, when I was in Chennai, the bridegroom, the young bride and bridegroom, gave me, gave this to me as a gift when I got back. I gave some beautiful crystals to the mother, and she's very happy hanging in her kitchen because uh, I don't want to go to that story, but she's very happy with that too. And I really appreciate this family and thank them. And it's very hard for me to contact 
them because uh, they're not on the computer and they're really very old. I'm already 64. They're older than me, you know. They're already in their 70s. So anyway, I thank them very much. So this one here is the... What is this? This is the Piao. It's half, half a dog or half lion and half, uh, I don't know, Piao. It's supposed to be, they always guard. Oh, it brings great abundance. And this here is a Baba. When we moved into this house, uh, we had a party and one of the Indian uh, friends of mine that used to come to my market store, his parents owned uh, the Krishna temple and uh, one of the brothers owned the uh, Ram temple and Krishna temple. So he said, Nancy, you, I know you like God, so I bought this for you. But he doesn't know the name and I don't know the name. But all I know that it's very good. He's a blessing with his hand, blessing us and everyone. I see a gold pouch. <laughs> He's carrying shoes. Shoes is something very important. <laughs> Without shoes, you can't walk. <laughs> All good. And uh, see the rice there? That's from Wollongong Temple. Right. So this is my story about this mata. Bye for now. This is Chuti Forma, according to the girl. But she's called Mata, mata in uh, Indian language. In Hindi. Amma. Amma is a Malay word or Hokkien, Chinese Hokkien also called Amma. A Southern Indian called Amma. So it is the same. One of the, some say she's one of the Tara, some Hin, Indian uh, uh, spiritual preacher from New York told me she is uh, one of the Taras, you know, one of the Taras when I showed, when I did a print out of her to go and show at a workshop and he said she's one of the Taras and uh, thank you very much Mata and thank you very much God for being with us. Bye!